Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a vignette effect to your video track in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. On screen I know you can see a quick example of what you can expect to get with this video. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you should have is a Premiere Pro project open and have some sort of video footage on your timeline. So for me, I just have this stock footage of some people walking through a crowd. And this is the example we're going to be using for today's video. So the first thing we'll be doing is opening up the effects tab. If you can't find this, simply come up to window and click on effects and it will open it up. And then from here, we're going to be searching in the little search tab here. We're going to be searching for an effect called circle. This should be under video effects and generate. And what we're going to be doing is dragging our circle effect onto the video track on our timeline and dropping it on here. Now, from this point, you may see a circle on top of your screen. You may be like, what the hell is going on? Don't worry, we're going to be editing this effect to make our desired effect. From here, we're going to be coming to our effect control window. If you can't find this, simply come up to window and click on effect controls and it should open this up. And then we should see our circle effect tab right here. Now, what we're going to be doing is changing a couple things to make this work for us. The first thing we'll be doing is changing the color to completely black. And now we're going to be changing the blending mode from none to multiply. And then from here, we're going to be inverting our circle, which is going to make our circle in the opposite effect. And then we're going to be adding a feather, which is going to feather out the harshness of our circle to make it more soft around the edges, create that more softening effect that we're looking for that you see in most vignettes. So what we're going to be doing is just adjusting our feather effect till we get a nice effect that we want. This, of course, will depend on your video file and what exactly you're looking for. So you can experiment around with this to your heart's content. From here, what we're going to be doing is experimenting with our radius. What I'm going to be doing is clicking this radius thing down so we can use this little slider here because it's a little bit nicer to do like this. And we're just going to be increasing the radius of our circle to make this more spread out version of this effect. Now, as you can see from this point, we have a nice circle in the center. So what we can do is increase the size of our circle until we get the desired vignette effect. Once you get to the max size, you should get something like this. But of course, we can experiment around with this a little bit more to make it exactly what we're looking for. Now that we have this effect, there's a couple little things more we can do to experiment with this to make it more what we're looking for. If you don't like these really harsh edges on the outside of our circle, what we can do is change our blending mode from multiply to darken, and then we can turn down the opacity on our vignette a little bit, creating a little bit more draw focus. You can experiment with this a little bit until you get that desired effect. In this case, I think a little bit more is needed. Something around 35% seems to work well for this video. Now, of course, there's one more thing that we can do, which is actually a big game changer, is change the color of our vignette. So currently it's a black color, but of course we can simply change the color to red, blue, or any other color you want to try experiment with to play around with your vignette. You can do a lot of cool customizable things with this, and it's really, really easy to do and set up. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.